The dehaze filter is intended to remove atmospheric haze, but it may be used creatively on any image to increase clarity and enhance image detail. Access it via filter, quality, dehaze. It's non-destructive like an adjustment layer, but you can't go back and edit it after the fact, only change its opacity. Photoline's dehaze filter gives you more control over the process than some other image editors. Size has to do with the blurring of the mask that's used to create the effect, and it's absolute, not relative to the image size. Smaller sizes produce a greater effect and enhance finer image detail, but at some point halos become visible. A typical size is around 1-2% to of the image diagonal, which for this image is 9 to 18 pixels. Haze color is what color the filter thinks the haze is. If in doubt, uncheck Calculate Haze Color and go with white. Unless you use a dark haze color, dehaze always darkens the image, including foreground elements that were not affected by haze. A color filter may be used to keep the filter off the darker elements. Right-click, Color Filter, Keep the default grayscale, and raise the lower slider until the effect is mostly off of what we want it to be off of. Then raise the top half of the slider to create a smooth transition. We can also mask the filter, but we will need to create a layer mask. Layer, Layer Mask, Create. It's inside the dehaze filter group. Finally, we can adjust the overall filter opacity. Let's collapse it, then turn it down a little.